Hi everybody, it's Bonkai922 here. Um It's time for the monthly review. I know, but before I get into this, I want to uh McWhirlpool! Sorry man! You're gonna have to wait! 400 subs, that's what I said! He messaged me before and I, I just wanna be able to say to him. Don't worry, man. 400 subs gets here. Then I will do the channel. Okay? Just... Just wait. You can wait. You can wait. Just spread the word. Spread the word. Okay. Getting into what this video is about. For some reason, I have a sore throat. I don't know why. Perfect. Fine. Anyway. Shingeki no Kyojin. Or, as it's known as, Attack on Titan. Chapter... 34. This one was called Warrior's Dance. And we got first page. Let's, hopefully, I can breeze through this without. It's 43 pages. So, pretty much what happened in this chapter we got Aaron, and, you know, Armin's there, and he's saying, Armin, what happened to Annie? And he, she says, Aaron. He's saying, Aaron to him. And we find out. Um. And it says, the door beyond which the truth lies has yet to reopen. <clears throat> uh, Annie, apparently, has con encased herself in a crystal. Uh, it's like, okay. You know, it was very... This was a very, you know, I want to say this chapter... Basically, in long, the gist of it was, imagine just a curtain, keeping all the secrets hidden. Well, that curtain has been removed. That curtain has been opened. That doorway has been opened. The secret, as she should say, the secret is out. And I'll, I'll get more into that later. Now. They are saying these guys are trying to open this crystal and says, shit, I can't even put a... They can't put a scratch on the crystal that she's encased herself with. Um, what it seems to me is that not only... Not only, and this is the truth, not only can a Titan... I, I, think, I believe it's that the Titan... And I'm probably going to go on more on this. Do another video on this, but probably won't happen until tomorrow. Um, it seems like not only can a Titan you, make their skin hard, but it seems like they also have the ability to encase themselves in like a hard crystal. At least for Annie's case, it, it seems. So these guys are saying, "Oh, you damn coward! Get get out of here! Pay you pay your debts and." Uh, the head of the, 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 uh, um, the, uh, fuck, what am I just gonna say? Uh, oh, fuck, I'm trying to figure what they're called. The scouts of the scout, uh, he says, stop it, KG, now's not the time for this. Use the wires, make a net, and tie up the crystal. And uh, if she wakes up in the morning, we'll be in trouble. If she does, you know, so on and so forth. So, they're going to tie it up and bring it down st uh, and underground. Understood. And it was like saying, oh, this is when we finally cornered her and everything. Um, you know, everyone's pissed off that they couldn't, you know, really interrogate her. And she's... I, I forgot her name. <laughs> Damn it. The head of the scouts, she's saying that, uh, of this team, and she's saying that, oh, we can't extract anything from her. Make her tell us what she knows, what will be left of us, you know, so on and so forth. And it says the toll will be heavy, leaving a whole lot of unanswered mysteries in its wake. Is there anything we can do? Then she, um, Mikasa is up on the wall, and she's noticed this woman, I forgot her name, damn it, damn it, uh, and she's wondering, what are you doing up there? And then that's when Mikasa notices dun -dun! the Titan inside the wall. And guess what? 
this Titan? Yeah, it's alive! So, pretty crazy shit happened in this chapter. Um, it's alive. Isn't that a Titan? Why is there a Titan inside the wall? Is it... Oh, that's her name. Hanji. Hanji, sorry. She says, she's then asking her what her orders are. On the whole length of it. And then she's wondering if, if there's more tight. Hanji is wondering if there are more Titans inside the wall. Like they're just in a row. <laughs> it's just like crazy. And then there's the the guy, remember from last chapter, who was the the, the uh, priest, the reverend from the church that got destroyed? And then she he's holding her shoulder and saying, you know, it's Pastor Nick, and he's saying to her, don't let the daylight shine on that titan. You must block light with something, anything, from shining on that titan. You have got to hurry. So he's like urging them on to do this because if they don't do it, uh, you know, uh, things are going to get really rough. We're, the Titan's going to wake up, basically. Then there's this other scene with, with, the the, um, it, uh, uh, these other people, part of the, the squad, who are saying, you know, asking questions about it, and it was a ro rookie, some rookies, and they're saying, look, rookie, I'm not going to talk to you, go fetch your, your superiors for me. And then, <clears throat> One of the people there saying, oh, Annie sure chose a sticky time to skip on her duties, and so on and so forth. Moving right along, they put yet a cloth to put over the collapsed area of where the uh, Titan was. So they covered it up. Everything's good. So now Hanchi, Hanchi, ha Hanji, Hanji, I can't say this woman's name, Hanji. Hanji, Sanji, Hanji, is questioning the Reverend, Pastor Nick. And he's wondering, oh, did you think the citizen saw? And she says, oh, I, I can't guarantee that no one saw anything. I see, well, now, isn't it time for us to talk, don't you think? So Hanji is obviously wants to question him about what, whole time, i like you to answer these questions. And he says, I cannot do that. I'm a busy man. My church and my followers are in the utmost. So this guy is like a fucking stupid, uh, you know, I'm for God. The church, yeah, you know. Yeah, I know what's going on, but I'm not going to say shit. Like, like, motherfucker. So, I'll make sure to demand uh, for the damage you caused. Now, get me off this wall. <laughs> All right, would you like me to let off from you? <laughs> She's grabbing him. <coughs> like I said before. Ah. Oh. She's a squad leader, and she says, stay away. You know, and... She's saying, you're the one being ridiculous. And she's, like, going on, saying, you know, do you realize how many people have sacrificed themselves to make sure that not a single titan comes in here and kills everybody? And you know all these secrets behind our backs? And you expect me not to find out? You know, that's what she's basically doing. She's basically questioning him to this point. And, she's te and he's telling her... Um... And she's telling him... Um... Uh, that, oh, uh, if there's any, uh, you know, uh... Saying that, oh, no matter what you do, you're not going to get it out of me. And she says, your fury is understandable, but it's not like we said nothing about this out of malice. It is not like my life is precious enough for me to cave in. I shall prove it to you. And basically going on about him being a sinner and everything and blah, blah, blah. And she doesn't kill him. And then she asks him, Pastor Nick, is he inside a long the wall length with Titans all? 
the feeling that I stopped experiencing after my first exhibition to the lands beyond the wall. Scary. And then we get another scene, obviously, with uh, Aaron, Mikasa, and Armin. And they're also with, uh, what's his face? Uh, I forgot his name. Ah! <laughs> this is what happens when you review a manga that's a monthly. Um, and because of what happened in the t in with, with, with Annie and this other thing, it seems like, um, Aaron's been spared. He's been, his summons to the king is canceled, so there won't be any, you know, executions or shit for him. And then Armin starts going in about the, and, and I w I'm going to actually do, I think, another video on this about Armin. He's pretty smart. I'm thinking Armin. He's really, he's a smart guy. You know, he's like, he, he's like among the group of Aaron, Mikasa, and himself. <coughs> the one that deciphers things. And he's saying that all the, these titans inside the wall were probably there for at least a hundred years. And so on and so forth. And he brings up another idea. What if? The wall wasn't built with bricks or cement or any of that. What if the wall was built from the Titans? And I just thought of an idea. What if what they did was they took people, turned them into Titans, made them transform, and actually create this hardened crystal around their bodies? Because that's what he was talking about. He was saying using the Titan's hardening ability. That ability could have a lot of applications just like with Annie crystallizing herself. That would mean that we've always been protected from Titans by Titans. And the guy he was talking to, I believe, was... Uh, damn, I forgot his name. And basically what happens then is uh, Armin and uh, Juster, I forgot the guy's name. <laughs> I've been writing for this in a while. They go into a meeting, this meeting, this big time meeting, and Mikasa decides to stay behind to look after Eren. And they go up, and it says on the incident, day of the incident at the facility become, belonging to the military police, subdivision in the Stohes district, a meeting to sort out the events of the day was held. And the Legion, scouting Legion's top breasts to the capital were put on hold for the time being. But this guy, who's part of the military police, is questioning Irvin. He's the head of the, uh, you know, uh, scouting Legion. And he says, I have a few questions regarding what the plan you implemented today. You firmly know that the goal you pursued it. Why didn't you ask the military police for cooperation? So on and so forth. He's asking him these questions. And he's saying... He didn't ask for the help because it is impossible to know where the female Titan allies might be hiding. So Irvin is actually implying that... It's not just Annie... Now I, this was her full name. Annie Lion, Leonhart inside these walls. So he's implying that there are more like this. Which I think proves my theory. What if that was the story? They were using humans. They were experimenting on them. Making them into titans. Because let's be honest here. Aaron's a titan. Annie's a titan. Maybe that's what they did. The Titans that are stupid and walk around like, and they just grab people and eat them. Those, no. The ones like Annie and Aaron and the one that destroyed the wall, those were created by people in the village, in the, in the thing. <clears throat> and then he's going on, er Irvin saying that if we had let her escape and the wall had been destroyed by all accomplices, the resulting damage would have been many magnitudes greater, saying that uh, less of two evils. 
Um, and he says, dude, but do you have proof that there, that your actions really prevented human humanity's demise? At present, she remains detained in her in our custody, deep underground, so on and so forth. It's possible to question her for information yeah. because of the, what our crystal. <coughs> you saying, oh, is this all in vain? And he's saying that we're gonna all we're gonna Irvin saying, oh, we're gonna track them down and corner them. All the enemies that are hiding inside these walls. Every single one of them. And he, while he's saying this, he's looking at the guys who are part of the church. Because he knows you motherfuckers did something. You are behind this. And then we get bad news about Wall Rose. With Irvin. And we get a little flashback. Nothing too fancy. Crazy. Uh, uh, um, about what happened two days ago. And pretty much we got these rookies hanging around. Saying some stupid shit here and there. You know. Man, I'm not a genius. Blah, blah, blah. These three people. Connie. And uh, some other people hanging around not doing anything while everyone else seems to be preparing for a fight, give or take. Excuse me. Uh, and they're talking, oh, maybe they're doing it because of bears. You And he's saying, oh, you two are the only, and this one guy's saying, oh, you two are the only ones that are still acting carefree. And <clears throat> this girl who's there, not Connie, this other one, one's a guy and one's just, black haired girl, she says she lays down her head and realizes she hears something. She says, what the? I hear rumble that sounds like heavy footsteps. And her name is Sasha. That's where we find her name, Sasha. And he's saying, oh, then that would mean that Roll, Wall Rose has fallen. Take a f And he says, and then we get this other scene with this guy, Mike. And he says, take a fast horse and report this to the commanders. There were no times among the squads, scouts of the 104th squad. And it says, a vast number of titans are invading from the south. Wall Rose has been breached. And that's where we end with this chapter. Wow, 17 minutes. Very hard to go through this chapter because it's a monthly, you know? What are you going to give me? Anyway, a very detailed thing. Anyway. Uh, wow. A lot of information. Not a lot of action. Not a lot of action, but a lot of information. Very detailed stuff going down here. Uh, wow. 18 minutes. This is long. Probably going to do another video on this. I'm going to give this one four. Four out of five. Uh, I'm going to give it a four out of five. Things are really cooking up with Attack on Titan. I'm liking it. Oh. I pretty much, I think I pretty much said this before. <laughs> June nineteenth, Volume One comes out of Attack on Titan. Go get it. We need to get this series up and running. Not a lot of people know about this series. It's great. And go check out McWhirlpool. His reviews of this show is great too. So yeah, of this manga is great. Uh, four out of five. Wow, it's just. A lot of stuff happened, and I I don't know how this is going to go down. This is going to get really heated. This it's going to get really intense. Next next month's chapter for July. Watch out! Watch out, motherfuckers. Um, so the Titans breached. Some questions about the church. You did something bad. They know something. They know. So we'll get into details of that. Tell me what you guys think. Comments below. Rate, comment, subscribe. What did you think about this chapter? Bunker 922. See you guys later. 19 minutes. See ya.